Bonjour everyone, this is Nick here at NJ's Bricks and today we're going to review the Animal Crossing series of Lego sets. Looking at them individually, I was a bit underwhelmed although the minifigures look great, so I decided to go ahead and grab all the sets and get them together so I could get the full Animal Crossing experience. The first one here, Nook's Cranny and Rosie's house. After that we're going to have Isabel's house visit. There are five sets in total, the third one being Cap'n's Island Boat Tour. And then, of course, the two smallest of the regular sets are Bunny's Outdoor Activities and Julian's Birthday Party. Please like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this content. Let's check it out. So this here is my island that I've put together from the five regularly available Lego sets from the Animal Crossing series. There is an additional character, Maple, that shows up in a poly bag with a couple of the modular landscaping pieces. But other than that, these are the five sets currently available. I believe there's a total of eight different minifigures. I do not know all of their names. But I just wanted to kind of show off how this works. I'll admit, when I'm looking at these sets on an individual basis, I didn't really find them appealing. I loved the minifigures, and that is honestly the number one reason why I ended up buying these sets. But... It wasn't just that I love the minifigures. I wanted to see if all of the parts could be something more, if the whole, rather, could be something more than simply each of its parts individually. So I bought all the sets, so I'd have all the minifigs, only to find out that I didn't have Maple because I didn't know it was a store-exclusive GWP poly bag that you can't get in stores. Perhaps I'll pick that one up later if I decide to hold on to these sets. But once I put them all together and I realized how basically infinitely that you could arrange them, you know, like you would be building your own island in the game, which I do own and have played a bit. I actually see the appeal of these quite a bit more now. I'm usually one who buys my Lego for display. I have a little city right now, so those are the modular buildings are the type of sets that I focus on, and I do not usually buy sets that are more play-focused unless I think they're particularly compelling for build purposes or have awesome minifigures like these do. But I get the appeal of these. So basically what it is, there's these two sizes of modular, I'm going to refer to them as modular landscaping pieces or modular landscape plates. These are the two different size plates. You can see here, uh, one of them is basically a 6x6 six six and the other one is an 8x8. Eight eight. They have rounded soft looking corners on them, so they're a bit more inviting. I think these are the same types of pieces that are used in a lot of the Mario sets they have that you can, in a similar way, modulate together to build your own Mario levels. I've never bought any of those sets, so you guys can probably speak to that more in the comments than I can, but I think these are the same type of pieces, and the idea is that you stick a 2x4 plate on them or a 2x2 two two plate on the bottom, and you can click them together in various different ways of course various ways of course there's four spots on each of these to use and that's going to allow you to arrange all of your different tiles from these sets in an infinite number of possibilities effectively so you can make your village or your town your island as it is uh, look any way that you want to and this is just the way that I have mine set up currently because I like most people will probably have a pretty finite space. They're going to find themselves building a more self-referential bit of island here instead of a more sprawling island. They're going to find themselves building an island that is more concentrated than sprawling because they're only going to have so much space. So a lot of cool details, a lot of fun details in this set. Of course, the different ways you can set it up. I've got my beach over here at the front. Back here, you can see uh, the deer's got a house. Uh, Tom Nook in his store, a central part of anybody's island, and uh, another house back there. Some of my complaints with the set would be the trees. <laughs> like, I know they don't cross-pollinate Lego and Duplo, right? But the trees are just like, that's a Duplo tree piece, right? Like, it looks exactly like that. So, kind of annoying that you build these little tree tops that, you know, oh, look, that's a 30 pieces, but it's a one Duplo piece. I will say that they are cool. Like, they fit the aesthetic of the sets very well. Especially, shout out to, uh, there's an orange tree back here. I really like that. So, overall, yeah, I'm gonna give these a thumbs up. I really enjoyed setting up my island in different ways. I could see myself tinkering with it for a long time. 
and finding more ways to arrange it, especially uh, when I'm doing something that has like complete creative freedom, I often like to add some sort of restraint that gives me something to work off of. So I mean, if I was given a different space with which to build my island, that would limit the ways I could do it, which might inspire some creativity. But anyone that are fans of the game, I think you'll have fun with these, especially if you've got the space to set them up in different ways. I'm sure they'll probably introduce more sets down the line if these ones sell well. They're not too expensive uh, to price too many people out that are already into Lego. If you're into Lego, you have a certain expectation of what kind of price you might pay, and these are certainly not egregious in regards to that. And of course, the custom molded minifigure pieces go a long way as far as me being able to accept certain prices. But overall, I would rate these sets a thumbs up. I've got some shorts footage, uh, high-res footage of each of these minifigures for you to check out. I'll show them at the end of this video. You can also catch them as shorts on the page over the next few days. Remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this content. And if you have the Animal Crossing houses, let me see your village. Let me see your island. What's your setup looking like? This one here might actually be my favorite among the Animal Crossing series of minifigures. I just really like the patterning on the torso there. That's some pretty cool printing, and it's a really nice custom headpiece. I love the ears on this figure. Very cute. Don't know much about the characters, though I played the game a little, but I really like this one. This is, again, Bunny. Certainly one of the most aptly named characters in the minifigure series for Animal Crossing. This is Fauna. This is a little deer figure here. A lot of these ones have the hole in the headpiece there so you can put things like this little gold cap or a bow or such on them nice printing on the rear of this minifigure as well as the movable short legs this is a good one another quite recognizable character from the animal crossing series is isabel this one has some really nice printing on that sweater piece there in the torso it also has a little molded skirt piece that goes on over the legs and of course like all the other animal crossing figures it has a really great custom molded headpiece this is a nice one this minifigure here is Julian from the Animal Crossing series, and I think this is one of the cooler minifigures from this line. It, of course, has the custom molded headpiece, which is extra cool with all the spikes and ears and horn and everything on this one, and the shininess on the torso printing and the hoodie is super cool as well. This minifigure here is Cap'n from Animal Crossing. I think it's supposed to be a turtle. I'm not totally sure. He's got a very cool printed Hawaiian shirt there, and I like how they used the dual molded arms to show the t-shirt nature of it. And he has the movable short legs there, a pretty cool minifigure. From the Animal Crossing line of sets here, we have the character Marshall. I have played the game a little bit, and I know of the characters, but I don't know much about them. All of these minifigures, however, have very cool custom molded head pieces, and this one has a really cool tail piece as well. Fun minifigure, nice printing, I like it. Right here, you are looking at the minifigure for Rosie from the Animal Crossing series, and I really love the printing on this one. That checkered, almost argyle sort of sweater pattern is really, really cool. Another nice custom molded headpiece for this, and a neat tail as well. This is a great minifigure. Perhaps the most recognizable character from the Animal Crossing LEGO series, this is Tom Nook the man who owns the town in store. And I got to say, it's a cool one. Nice tail with some cool molded detailing on it as well. I love the different colors of printing and the use of the dual molded arms to show his t-shirt is pretty cool as well.